My name is Pemi Aguda. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. I write short fiction and I've worked on a book length project. I think I've been writing since I was a young child, so in a way it feels quite innate, it feels quite natural. So I wanted to be here and try to engage in a different medium that would put less pressure on me. So while I was here, I wrote the first draft of a play, and it's a one-act play set in a version of Lagos, Nigeria that has flooded. So it's like really simple, the setting. It's a woman, her daughter, and the daughter of a nanny on a raft in a flooded Lagos, and that's, that's the gist of the play. So I really wanted to feel free here. I didn't want to put the weight of practicality, in a, in a sense, on my time at Blackrock. So I said, while I'm here, I just, want, I just wanted freedom. And so I wasn't thinking about where it would be actually staged. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Because this is only the second play. This is the first play I've written seriously in my life. So um, I just wanted to see how it would go. At the end of my stay here, I can say that I did it at my own pace. And I played, I experimented. And yeah, it feels good. I'm happy with what I have. It's a first draft, but I feel very happy with what I had. With my work, I think I'm, I'm hesitant to say these are the things that I am working on generally because people come to the work and read different things from it, and I'm happy with that. But I think in general, I am interested in the lives of Nigerian women and how we move through the world in our bodies, like who we want to be in society, what our place is, and all the people that have come before us and how they affect us going forward. Um, you know, like the weight of ancestry, wanting to go forward with that, but also wanting to be free by yourself, like, and how those two things are, like the tension between those two things, so, yeah. Um, so, for example, in my, the novel that I wrote that I didn't work on while I was here, in my novel, part of it is inspired by the illegal evictions that the Lagos state government is doing on like waterfront communities. And so part of the research I did was go to Lagos, to some of these displaced communities to interview them, to say, how did this happen? Why did it happen? And that was an interesting interaction because I felt I think in that moment, I felt how, in some ways, fiction felt f futile. Yeah, because I was thinking, I'm, I'm writing a fictional story. How is this going to help? You know, how is going to, this going to help like real people who have been displaced? But I think like when I zoom out, I think just pointing people's eyes in that direction is also good work. Um, there are people on the ground who are doing actual handsy work, but pointing people in that direction saying, hey, this is happening, but saying it in a way that kind of goes under their defenses, I think that's what fiction does. It's like, hey, pay attention to this thing, but I'm going to tell you that by telling this other story. So you think this one thing is happening, but then it seeps under your subconscious that you should pay attention to this other thing. This is why I like residences where it's just more than one residence because it's inevitable that when you put different people who are artists together, something will come out of it. You know, in my time here, I found myself discussing what I'm working on with other residents and just hearing them talk back. It's interesting also to hear people who are doing work in a different field than I am because in many ways it's similar but it's still so different so, so to have two people talk about the same thing but coming from different angles i can't help but be inspired 